Hi, honeys. So today we're going to focus on this very interesting podcast that is still available online. It's from writingclassradio.com. Episode six, Wendy Adelson tells the story of her ex-husband's murder. So let's take a look at this, just a few little snippets that I would like to focus on, because sometimes when we have really long live stream shows, people just kind of tune out. First, there's a lot of talking here, a lot of other people gushing about Wendy, talking about other things. There's an ad for a sponsor. Let's play a snippet. Ten months ago, someone you killed the father of my children. First, we got divorced, and then he got murdered. He got and murdered. Conversation. Isn't that strange? What a weird choice of words. Why would she say he got murdered? Hmm. Like it's something he caused. I don't know whether to call him my ex late spouse or my late ex spouse. Except that late ex spouse sounds like latex spouse. Last July, someone, and we still don't know who, shot my ex-husband point blank in the back of the head as he pulled into our garage after driving our then three and four-year-old sons to preschool. We married when I was in my mid-twenties, when I thought I could cheat the system and marry a man I lacked passionate love for because, hey, didn't that die anyway during marriage? I saw his intellect and big heart and thought he would make a wonderful father for my children. Again, this is a weird choice of words. Why would she say father for my children? Are they only her children? Our marriage dissolved after the children arrived as the loneliness of being married to someone that didn't view me as an equal crept in. I do believe he loved me the best way he knew how. I mean, he didn't like fiction, so why read my novel? Yep. So another thing that was directly contradicted by someone else who apparently contacted Ruth Markell after Dan passed away, who said Dan had, in fact, read her novel. It was logic, not a lack of love. It feels sacrilegious these days, even to suggest something less than heroic about my latex husband because he was murdered. He died violently and young and likely at the hands of a professional killer. So that's what I would like to focus on. Thank you, Debbie, for telling us about this. I had totally forgotten about this point. Why would she mention likely by a professional killer? This was sometime in late 2015. So it is very strange. Why would she think that it was done by a professional killer? Hmm. Definitely things that make you go, hmm. So I'd like to direct people's attention to this website, writingclassradio.com, episode six. If they keep it up on their website, we shall see. Let's look forward to Charlie's trial starting tomorrow with jury selection. And be sure to tune in at Deep Dive True Crime, as well as Mentor Lawyer Justice Network, Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Please continue tuning in. I hope to have maybe not daily, but every other day possibly coverage with commentary about this case. Let's hope for justice for Dan.